Sandra reads. Let's look in the basket and see what we're going to read. Today, I'll be reading a book called Tiny Ranosaurus by Nick Ward. Many, many years ago, when the world was a wild and dangerous place, when everywhere was covered with volcanoes and jungles, and when fierce dinosaurs ruled the earth. The fiercest dinosaur of all was Tiny Ranosaurus Rex. Because he wasn't as big as some of the other dinosaurs, Tiny had to be especially fierce to make up for it. So he had learned to roar the loudest roar. Roar! Clash his jaws the hardest. Slam! And pull the fiercest faces. He was the loudest, hardest, fiercest, and grumpiest little dinosaur ever. Grr! Even as a baby, Tiny had been in handful. He stamped and growled and would kick up a storm. But today, Tiny was even grumpier than normal. He had an awful toothache, which was not good news. As everyone knows, dinosaurs love to eat. I'm famished, grumbled Tiny as he sat down to breakfast and bit down hard on his favorite food. Ouch! He cried, my tooth. Oh dear, said his mom. We'd better go and have that tooth pulled out. No way, cried Tiny Ranosaurus. And off he went to find some friends. Tiny stomped through the jungle in a grumpy mood. His tooth ached and his tummy was empty. Then just around the corner, he came upon Triceratops eating in a clearing. Food, smiled Tiny. He roared his loudest roar. He pulled his fiercest face and bellowed, charge. Careful, Tiny Ranosaurus called Triceratops as Tiny barged into him. Yum, yum, yum. Ouch, Tiny screamed, my tooth. Ow. Perhaps, said Triceratops, you should go and see about having it removed. Not a chance, salt Tiny. I don't need it out. Tiny stomped down to the river. I'm starving, he moaned. And then he smelled fresh berries and followed the scent to a group of apatosauruses. Charge, he yelled and stormed towards them, picking up a huge bunch of berries and slamming shut his mighty jaws. Ow, ow, ouch, he cried, my tooth. Oh dear, said the apatosaurus. Perhaps you should see about having it removed. I won't have it removed, sobbed Tiny and stomped off up the nearest volcano where he found his best friend, Velo C. Raptor, who was eating an apple. Food, food, thundered Tiny, roaring his loudest roar and pulling his fiercest face. Stop, Tiny, stop, yelped Velo. And as Tiny got within nipping distance of the apple, he clashed his mighty jaws. Yowch, howled Tiny. What's the matter with you, munched Velo. 
I'm sorry, Velo, said Tiny, but I'm so hungry and I've got a terrible toothache. Then perhaps you'd better go and have it taken out, said Velo. No, screamed Tiny, I won't have it removed. And stamping and roaring and growling and grimacing, Tiny Ranosaurus kicked up a real storm until the clouds churned and lightning flashed everywhere. But when the dust settled, Tiny still had a terrible toothache, toothache and an empty tummy. Oh dear, he sighed, perhaps I had better have it removed. Open wide, said Dr. Stegosaurus, peering inside Tiny's mouth. Tap, tap, tap. How does that feel, he asked. Much better, thank you, said Tiny. Good, you should be able to eat something now, smiled the dentist. I can, said Tiny, and jumped up, mouth open, and went chomp. Oh, Tiny, sighed his mom. Please put the dentist back. Get me out. Again, the book is called Tiny Ranosaurus by Nick Ward. And the message of the day is don't be afraid to go to the dentist because the dentist makes sure our teeth and gums are healthy and clean. We'll see you next time, my little ones.